<laughs> and to whom? Hypocrite bitch. Wow. Let's see this note. Linda, my wife will be at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. and make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. To all employees. Damn! Welcome back to episode two of this bed we made. Well, the first episode was a lot of like introducing some characters. We didn't really get into too many mysteries yet, but last episode we left off on we're trying to find the master key so that we can get our keys that we left in the break room. And somebody wrote hypocrite bitch on this lady's door. Um, yeah, do. so we're going to get the keys. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. Yeah, we'll just we'll put it back immediately. OK, so here's the break room. Right, the master key only unlocks the guests rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. Oh, Jesus. At least I can get into 509 now. Well. I will try my best not to forget to bring the keys back. Hey, you. Oh, hey, Beth. On break already? Sadly, no. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jock or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy, so... What about you? I thought you'd be in 509. I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. While I was looking for my keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. What kind of graffiti are we talking about? The words, hypocrite bitch, in red lipstick. I love how she whispers it. I wonder who could have written it. If I had to bet, I'd put my money on Wendy. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. I get Wendy's frustrations with Linda, but vandalizing her door? Isn't that a bit much? Sorry, but Linda's lucky to get away with just lipstick on her door. I would have done worse. Oh, I know bad. she can be harsh, but it can't be easy dealing with Bernard. She must be under a lot of pressure. Maybe Wendy should have tried talking to her instead. For that to happen, Linda would first have to make herself seem like a rational, approachable person who can be talked to, and not a raging, unstable harpy. Hmm. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but I admire that you're able to feel for just about anyone. Um, oh, we can flirt with Beth? No, she's going to be my best friend. I think it comes from my mom. As a nurse during the war, she had to care for all kinds of soldiers, even enemy ones sometimes. I don't know if I'm quite at her level yet, though. Don't sell yourself short. You're a very compassionate person, Sophie. Thanks, Beth. Well, this was a lovely chat, but I better see if Eugene is around maintenance. Hopefully he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest. Yeah, we both got a lot on our plates today. I can't wait to find out more about our friends H&M. Take care. You too. <laughs> Should I check on that bitch that's crying in the bathroom? Let's check. Oh, I can open these. What the? Fine. People don't usually leave these unlocked. So this one, Eugene. Half the washing machines are out of order because of this. I wasn't able to finish our current load in time, and Beth will be forced to offer guests an apology discount. Please fix the machines before Bernard kills me, Rebecca. Open sesame. Nope. Off limits. Ooh. More stuff? The way Who they is look this? At each other. Who is it? You can tell. It's the real deal. Okay, nothing important. What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound alright? I... No, I guess not. 
Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I, I don't mean to disturb you, but did you see who wrote that message on Linda's door? What? The lipstick message. Do you know who wrote it? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Please help me. Go. All right. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's locked. We're snooping. Tips. I haven't gotten any tips so far today. Hmm. Being recognized for doing a good job. That feeling never gets old. Sophie, I've noticed a real improvement in the quality of your work lately. I've heard a few guests saying how clean their rooms are after you go through them. Who knows? Maybe you'll manage to steal the employee of the month reward from Wendy. Maybe. What does that say? Arianda's legacy? Huh. Open sesame off limits. There could be something important in here. We don't know. Dear sister, we need to talk about Kevin. The other day, Patrick received some pamphlets from a friend from the States, and now he is convinced that our child is a sissy. How is that even possible? The boy is only five years old. Does it really matter if he likes to play with girls and prefers dolls to toy cars? Still, I cannot help but think, if Patrick is right, if Kevin indeed is like that, what kind of future awaits him? Will he ever be able to get a job, to finally have a family, to live a normal life? Every time I look at him, I feel like crying. I just want my little boy to be happy. Is that too much to ask? He could still be happy. What is this? The hidden enemy. An invisible force is lurking in the shadows, threatening our very way of life. And it is not the communists. It is the homosexuals. A menace to the young, a threat to everyone, but how do we spot them? They move around unnoticed, working in every field. They may even be married and have children. They could live next door to you, be your church, or attend your church, or even be your son. In these pages, you will learn. Get the hell out. Carol, I hope you are having a great first week here. Valentine's Day is always a very busy time, but do not worry, it should calm down soon. I saw you watch us playing cards at lunch yesterday. You are welcome to join us today if you wish, Nicole. So Carol is kind of new. I can tell you who you should hang out with and who you should avoid. Wow. This goes beyond constructive criticism. It's just... A personal crusade. Do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests? The way you smile at them and call them sweetie while you fill their coffee cups? The way you laugh at their jokes and bat your eyes like a stupid teenage girl? I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to get the employee of the month reward, but either way, this is unacceptable and I won't even mention the way you wear your uniform. This is a respected hotel, not a pleasure house. Although I've always had a problem with your behavior, I tolerated it as long as the guests were happy, but now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What would jockey say if he saw you i'm sure he would be as ashamed as i am maybe you've got bernard fooled like every other man but if you don't change your behavior i'll find a way to convince him to fire you this is your only warning linda bitch <laughs> okay lipstick the shade of red it matches the oh. message on the door oh we need to we need to close it yeah, we need to put it back. Yes. So then Wendy did do it. Is there anything on the back? No. I don't want to think of what could happen to Wendy if someone found this. Should I? No! It's called dealing with your consequences. Yvette's and Susan's favorite activity. Talking behind other people's backs. I can't believe Miss Perfect got the employee of the month reward again. I'm sure she won't even use the mixer she won. She's too dumb to understand how it works. Poor Jacques. He deserves so much better than that stupid whore. And did you see the look on Sophie's face when Bernard first showed the mixer? You'd swear that weirdo had never seen one in her life. Anyway, join me at 11.15 for smoke break. All right, old ports, huh? Not new ports. So now we have to provide soap to the guests? This is getting ridiculous. What's next? A hair dryer in every room? <laughs> Speaking of hair, have you seen Rebecca's new haircut? I didn't think she could look even uglier. Smoke break at 345. Bitch. You smoke old ports too, huh? Look at all your fucking teacups. I should be able to open 509 now. Back to the fifth floor.
Are we on the right? Are we on the right floor? Yeah, five oh nine. Wow. So this is M and H's room. Let's close that. Well, they've got gloves too. More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Hmm. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. Oh, she's got a safe too. Hmm. that note apart but I'm missing hmm. some pieces I can't make out what's written okay maybe we'll find some other pieces Hector Cruz insurance agent okay what is that okay Some kind of little holder. Wow. You look like a couple out of a magazine. They are cute. February 14th, 1948. This person looking for you back in Texas, was he really just a co-worker? Dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed and so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. You would have your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he is one of your colleagues from work, but I am not sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake, your mother. Mm hmm. SW? SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Hmm. Another SW? It's so blurry. What does it say? Attempt 12? I really can't read it. Rose petals on bed. Oh, maybe they're trying to get pregnant. That could be. And the mother-in-law is just being a big old bitch about it, too. Like, they're trying. Why are you gonna be like that? Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Okay. Oh, is there more pieces? Hmm. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? Beth? Is, is, is that you? No, that is not Beth. Didn't even ask me what my favorite scary movie is. What's that mean? Let's call reception. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth? Sophie? Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? What do you mean, who called? Someone just called and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. Whoa, the creeperama just keeps on going, doesn't it? Uh, hold on. Hey, Archie. Uh, what's up? 
Give me a second, Sophie. Okay, so turns out Archie here patched a call through to 509 moments ago. He patched a call? Oh. Did he recognize the caller's voice? You think... you think it might have been Mr. Morgan? Yeah. I mean... Let me ask. Maybe. Okay, so it was a man's voice, but he can't be sure if it was our creep. Hmm. hmm. Did he notice anything else? He says... He says he heard a faint bell in the background. It sounded like the elevator's bell, so he assumed the caller was one of our clients. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I understand why you're creeped out, but I don't see how he could possibly know you're in 509. I didn't say a word to anyone. I know. I know you didn't. Can you ask Andrew not to patch any calls here for a while? Oh, trust me, I will. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so hmm. I better get back to it. Oh, before you go, I have some more info for you. I was going over the details of our little mystery when I remembered something about this morning. What is it? I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel, all by her lonesome, not too long after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby. Not too long after? Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think Mr. Morgan left around 10, so I'm guessing between then and 5 past 10? Hmm. What? I just... I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like, a, a door slamming really hard. Do you think it was her? Maybe. Did you notice anything weird about her? You mean, yeah, we're gonna ask other everything. than the fact that she was walking straight into a snowstorm? Yeah. Well, I've only ever seen her with her husband seemed unusual that she'd be leaving alone. But now that I think about it, maybe she was sneaking out. Or following Oh, Mr. is she the one that was yeah. that's been sneaking out? Hopefully okay. I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you will. Call me as soon as you find something. Okay. Thanks for the info. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we got some some more cleaning to do. What was this again? 19 arrested in deviant raid. Does your personal hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? Stop worrying and save your marriage with lice oil. <laughs> it's an indispensable aid to marriage hygiene. Millions of women use it regularly to safeguard their beauty and avoid undesirable surprises. It's penetrative and effective even in the presence of organic matter. You can stop worrying about your hygiene and focus on more important things, such as pleasing your hardworking husband. Oh my lord. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Interesting. Got some paper sticking out. I feel like it's going to be the year they got married. Wait, there's something sticking out of the case. I don't Mrs. Oh, Cruz I was afraid I was going to rip it. information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? That occurred. So the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September. And thank you for calling it to our attention. We are currently investigating this breach and trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. SOS 5. And there's an 8 on there. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Who could blame you for seeking help? I'd do the same in your shoes. These scribbles don't look random, but huh. I can't figure out what they mean. NT. Contraceptive pill. Is she like secretly taking a pill to not get pregnant? Did I get all four pieces? Oh hell, what did I get?
What the hell? It's some kind of code. It is a code. Oh my gosh. Can I break it? Hmm. Okay, so let's see. SOS. So the equal signs are S's and the fives are O's. Hmm. So we need to find more stuff that we can use. What did this one? So N is G, P is T. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. There's hearts all over it. Huh. Let's close that. So she's got a lot of books she wants to read, and then I've got some codes down there. Let's see, I took a picture of that because I have a good memory sometimes, but it's with random things and definitely not like this. <laughs> Five minutes later. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. Oh, okay. We don't have to tell Beth. Can we check the vents first? Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey Beth, it's me. Hey, so how did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. A secret code? Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Who the hell does that? I don't know. But whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. So the mm. cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? Hmm, I don't know. Kind of seems like an affair. But maybe he's like a private investigator or something. Mr. Morgan is like working for Marcella. Mm, well, we'll just say that's that. That's possible. It's quite obvious they're having marital problems. Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? I'm pretty sure the husband was sentenced to sleeping in the living room. I found a pillow and some sheets on the couch. Okay, so maybe he snores a lot. Or he kicks her in his sleep. I've been elbowed by my sister more times than I can count. Some people are just bad sleepers. Is that all you've got? Pretty much. But I should be able to find more proof in the vent. The one that's mentioned in the message. I think I'll go check it out. Yeah, good idea, Bean. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew to patch you through to the break room. All right. Enjoy your break. You'll have oh, the key, the master key. I gotta remember to put that back. Why are we looking at the door like that? Okay, so it's not. It's not the message this message said next to your next room. to your room. Okay, so it has to be a vent in the corridor. Close that. Do I need to change their towels too? Maybe I should bring you another towel. Okay. If I ignore my duties, it'll be suspicious. You know what I mean? Close that. I think everything is oh I never tried this code no combination no entry okay hmm. I guess that's not possible it's the exact same color hmm someone else could have used her lipstick though is that all you have it's not there's also this I sent it to her a few days ago I was kindly warning her that her behavior could compromise her engagement and I was quite right but look at what she scribbled down here. Not only does it prove she hates me, the writing's the same as the message on the door. Very well. I'll call Wendy to my office later and fire her. Good. 
I got an achievement for not preventing Wendy from being fired, but you know what? That's her own shit. And I don't even know if we're friends, you know? Like, I don't even know. Um, so, oh, I need to look at me getting distracted. Where is the vent? Next to our room. This one? Ah, <gasps> it's another damn decipher. Can't open these without a screwdriver. There is a janitor's closet here. Okay. Wait, Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery slope towards ah. becoming a hoarder. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? What is this? Oh, Eugene, I had no idea. A friend of mine has heard from her hairdresser, who's heard from her sister-in-law, who works as a secretary to the mayor, that the city plans on building a new mental hospital right next to the Clarington. Imagine, Denise could go get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, I'll keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted as soon as we have. I have more news. Warm wishes, Joyce. Whoa. Little note. There we go. Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Bernard tells me there is a cold draft coming from his window and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today. Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was... Bernard. Dear Eugene, I was unaware of your daughter's condition. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife. But do not worry. You only have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow even in the best of families. As for your request, I am afraid I am unable to grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor to of the Clarington, so it would be inappropriate for me to oppose him. Also, considering his great influence in this city, I have no doubt he will manage to prevent the hospital's construction no matter what. Eugene must be down in Bernard's office. I should go ask him for a screwdriver. Yes, we should. Maybe the break room's open. Are you going to push a button? It's, uh, Miss Bellevent, isn't it? What? Oh, um, Roy. Oh, right. Uh-huh. Well, that's Bernard. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Y yes, I am. Hmm. Don't take too long. No, 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 I won't. <clears throat> Didn't say screwdriver, because I'm a maid. What do I need that for, right? Well, don't you look mischievous. Oh. Hey, Bean. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking <laughs> for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You'd better go and take a look. I'll stand guard by the elevator. And make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. Aha! Uh -huh. Mr. Bernard's gonna fire me too. Clean this. Yeah. Opposing something that could help so many people. Just because it's close to your hotel? 
This is ridiculous. Dear Mr. Weston, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarington Hotel and Weston's department store. Thanks to your generous help, renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. You should come visit soon when your busy schedule allows it, of course. On another note, it has come to my attention that you have formed a group of local businessmen to approve the construction of the new mental hospital. After working so hard to elevate the Clarington standards, I cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in my backyard. Should you accept, it would be an honor and a privilege to join your fight. Yours sincerely, Bernard Leduc. Handwritten by Eugene. Enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted prick. Oh. Aha. Let's get you to that vent. Yep. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to yeah, avoid Is this that. still dirty? Um... No. You know what? I, I'm i not going to cover for anyone's crimes but my own. Because, yeah, it'll be too much to keep track of. This does not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. Dear brother, I thank you for your invaluable input, but need I remind you the terms of our agreement? I did my part. I got you out of jail and have ensured that news of your deviant ways would not leak. Now, I expect you to keep your side of the bargain and stay out of my way. You are not in charge of the hotel anymore. I've worked relentlessly these past few years to return the Clarington to its former glory. A great challenge, considering the poor state you left it in. I'm glad father never got to see how you shamelessly destroyed his great legacy. As for me, I will be dead too before I listen to a single word of advice from you. You ask I lower our prices, but I can tell you I plan on doing just the opposite. My guests will only be la creme de la creme. Your deviant friends can find themselves another place for their simple debaucheries. Enjoy your retirement. Wow. Ew. There's a bra? Is this Linda's? Just keep a bra in your, uh, drawer at work, you know? You never know when you're gonna need an, an extra one, I guess. My employer has made the following request to avoid unwanted attention. His identity should remain secret to both guests and staff. The temperature in room 602 should be kept at exactly 22 degrees. His dog should be fed the very best roast beef. His room should be cleaned every day at 1130 on the dot. Eggs should be banned from his room service orders. No one should disturb him between the hours of 4 and 5 p.m. All right, I think I have snooped all I can snoop. Surely you'll break it over by now. No, it's not. Jesus I Christ. I here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to- It's my time of the month. I, uh... Uh-huh. She's You're getting married, her period. You? So, you know how it is. I have to go more often, and... Oh, sometimes I stain the furniture and, and don't get me started on all the- That's enough details. I- Miss Bell. Why are we really just standing there? What are you there? doing in my office? I wasn't- I was- I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Really? But that doesn't explain what you're doing on this floor. You know very well the cleaning staff isn't supposed to wander around the lobby for no reason. I- you wouldn't be lying to me, would you, Miss Belovit? No. No, I swear, I- It's my fault. I asked her to come clean up a mess I made. Spilled coffee. Coffee? Oh, Miss Lambert. You're not supposed Aww, to have beverages thanks, at the front desk. Yeah, well, there are so many rules here, I lose track. <sighs> mm -hmm. Come with me. Oh, Beth. I owe you one. Sorry. I messed up while talking to Bernard. Oh, it's okay. Beth is strong. She's got this. Oh, he found the note. What's that? Nothing. It's nothing. Sure doesn't look like nothing. Thank <gasps> you, Beth. Well, 
didn't you have some speech? I love how there's like a whole bunch right. of dialogue, yeah. and if you walk yeah, away, you'd miss it. Okay, so Time to see what secrets that vent is holding. Let's go back to this vent. See what's inside. There's so many characters. I'm starting to like mix them all up. I think it's because I haven't seen most of them, so it's hard to like put a name to a face if you don't even know what that face looks like. All right, let's see. Another code to decipher. Oh, I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. Hmm. Look at the weather outside, my gosh. Here we go. A few moments later. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael we will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. We need to discuss our plan. Sneaky, sneaky. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hello, Bean. Anything new to report? Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, but I also wanted to thank you for- Yeah, I want to make sure later. she's okay, oh, not fired. Welcome. I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble. Well, I did get a little sermon from Bernard. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't fuss about it. He mainly complained about my lack of decency and my abrasive personality. So, <laughs> the usual stuff, you know? He did keep me in there forever, though. So, tell me it was worth it. Tell me you found something good in that vent. I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? Who's that? Another husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the log. What room is Michael in? There's a Michael staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. Hmm. Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Well, I could call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang on. You've got the all clear, Bean. Head on over. Thanks, Beth. I'll call you back. I feel like we're definitely gonna get caught soon. I guess let's go check it out. <laughs> 